Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together we are... Modeling for Monty. Okay, what we got here? Another oh. World War Three Team Yankees. It's another big beauty. It's another big beauty. Right. Uh, so, do you want to read it out, and I'll get a box open? Uh, certainly. Well, uh, FYI, this is the BMP Motor Rifle Battalion. So, uh, Warsaw Pact Star Force. Yeah. So this is. For, uh, it's got the pictures on the front. This will do you Polish, Czech, uh, East German, or Soviet. So rather than having like lots of different um, sculpts in, in in metal and resin, slightly different, they're, they're going to be a bit more of a bit, bit more of a generic thing I mean, and things like upgrade sprues and pretty stuff. good. A bit of a different look. Look, so these retail for eighty pounds. If you're interested, obviously you can buy one from the modeling for advantage store. Oh my! But like all of these, this thing is chock a block. With plastic. It is chocker block with plastic, and I can tell you exactly what that is. What plastic are they going to get, John? So, the BMP Motor Rifle Battalion contains nine BMP-1 or BMP-2 armoured fighting vehicles. That's cool. Mm. Uh, nine assault rifle teams, six RPG-7 anti-tank teams, five T-55AM-2 tanks, uh, two BRDM-2 uh, or SA-9 Gaskin or Spand Spandrel vehicles. What are they? Mm. We'll have a look at those. Some funky little thing. Uh, you get two SU-25 Frogfoots, two flight stands for those, plus you get the rule book, blah, 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 blah. And unit cards. Oosh. So there you go. You get a lot of stuff in there. So what was the what was the total? So yeah, it's 18 vehicles, including aircraft, and an infantry platoon, and a, and a substantial infantry platoon at that. So you, you can't argue the value. Retails for £80. So what, 18 divided by 20? £4 a vehicle? And that's a full price. That's, that's not bad, is it? No. It's not bad at all. So um, we'll go to the paper first, and then if you wave a sprue, and I'll talk about it. I certainly that's will. the way to go. Yep. So you get this Warsaw Pact uh, start here for the BMP Motor Rifle Platoon. Mm. These are great little uh, things. It includes your exploded diagram of instructions oh, wow. and some what's next stuff on the back about expanding it. Um, the thing to know about these is sometimes the kits will make more variants than they provide you with instructions for. They provide you with instructions for the versions that you build. The, uh, yeah, intended for, to be yeah, built. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so that's that. You get your Team Yankee rule book. If you buy Team Yankee stuff, that's that's there. There's also instructions for your SU-25 oh, yeah. on the back there. Um, and then your... Whoa! Oh, it's a, a big bag of cards. cards. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about the cards as you go through the sprues. But your decal sheets, you've basically got... Are these two identical? No, they're not identical. Or are they? Same but different. Yeah, you know when you know when they're a bit, they look a bit blurry through the gloss? Yes. Are these, these are basically unit numbers. Um, and these are for a little transfer sheet for your airplane. Nice. Very nice. Sharky teeth. Yeah. All right. So, the reason you get so many cards in here, John, do you know why there would be so uh, many cards? Does it have multiple languages? Not multiple languages, but you're on the right lines. Mm, uh, multiple factions. Multiple so factions. It's exactly the same but different, right? It's now, the same but different. It does yeah. say on the back you get 36 unit cards, but that yeah, looks like more. I could see that being true. So I'm going to separate them out. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to talk briefly about the East German ones, because that's what I'm intending to use. Fact. But as you can see, um, BMP Motschutzen Battalion for East German, a BMP Motor Rifle Plat uh, Battalion for Soviet, a BMP Motor Rifle Battalion for Polish, and... A BMP Motor Rifle Battalion for checks. Wow. Um, are they actually the formations? I wonder if the formations are different. So f at first glance, the formation HQ looks to be the same. But what what is different about the different uh, nationalities is all about the skill ratings and so forth. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah. they so you're gonna you're gonna see you're gonna see some differences in the capabilities and the points cost of the units, even though they're the same models. So we'll put all those to one side. We'll look at them. So this is a BMP Motschutzen. Battalion. I'm saying that obviously a battalion 
most of the HQs we've, we've looked at are companies. Yes. So um, this is part of Soviet doctrine, bigger forces. Okay, yeah. So the Soviet system has, um, it basically people were conscripted for two years. So you got a very, very high turnover of manpower. Uh, so, so compared to, compared to the, the professional armies in the West, yeah. they're smaller but longer serving soldiers, a little bit more of an idea of what they do. So simplicity and quantity, having a quality all of its own, wow. was always a Soviet idea. Um, but the East Germans tend to be a bit better trained. Okay. Yeah, um, compared to the Soviets. So the BMP Mochus and Battalion, what are you getting are going to get in this? You're going to get a Battalion HQ, you're going to get one Mochus and Company in BMP 1s or BMP 2s as a compulsory, another one or two compulsory um, infantry companies. But then you can take a, com a company of tanks, T-72s, T-55s of various types, Carnation Artillery, Spandrel Anti-Tank, um, BMP Recon Platoon, Shilka uh, AA Platoon, and then go for all Gaskin uh, Flak Cars. Holy moly. A lot of, lot of different things. Um, not all of those things are in here, like like is the case no. with, with all of us, but a lot of them are. Yes. So um, the BMP then, uh, this has been around for a little while. I'm just trying to find the bit with the, with the words on. 2015. Bits so this is one of the very early Oh, wow, yeah. And you can see that there's a lot of space on this bro. So know. many holes. Um, but uh, uh, in, in common, even with the, with the more modern stuff, it's got a lot of strong features for a wargaming kit. The sprue gates are very slim. Yes. Yeah. Um, there's oh, the, wow. Yeah, they are. The, the, you know, the, these, are, these are things that you could almost push out, I think. Yeah, I probably That's shouldn't try that too much. You might damage it. Um, but this, this sprue, what's good about this sprue is the BMP 1 and 2. The BMP 2 is quite different, but it's not a different sprue. That's crazy. Yeah. They're giving you, they're giving you two upper holes and two turrets. And two turret pegs. Now, me you make both. If you didn't want, you've to only got it. one lower hull and one set of tracks. But you, yeah, you can just slot it on the top if you want to. Yeah, absolutely. Sweet. Uh, and and it, and it does work. I've seen a lot of people do it. For me, I don't like the fact that when I'm moving my models around on the table, and it just, it, it just, kind, of, yeah, just kind of slots not off. Not so good. So I've got, I've, I've actually made a BMP two, which is a bit of a mistake. Um, because I discovered that a lot of the Warsaw Pact forces don't didn't, don't get, didn't have large numbers of BMP twos uh, in the seventies and eighties. Um, so what do you what do you know about the BMP, John? Uh, it's one of these. Yeah, that's I mean, all I, I know, mate. I can't tell you what it, the BMP stands for because it's some long Russian words. Right. Okay. <laughs> Ultimately, it's an APC, right? Well, it's it's sort not of across. BMP One was the world's first um, infantry fighting vehicle. So, so if you look at things like Bradley and Warrior yeah. today, the BMP One was the first one. They wanted the best of both. They wanted the best of both, but because they have this vast conscript army, and you have to remember, this is still in an era where people are thinking about nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare. So BMP One is is in, is entirely sealed. They've even got gun ports. In the original versions, no way. that they can fire out the side, yeah, which is another one of these ideas that people had looked at in the early days and thought, yeah, mate, gun parts firing out the side, and then somebody else said, ten millimeters of aluminium, let's not do that. Yeah, let's <laughs> add lots of weak points to the. Th that's well, not only weak, but th there is no side armor. Oh, all that. The guys yeah. inside are not safe. Yeah, <laughs> for being shot at, <laughs> you know. Um, but they, they came up with a, with a design philosophy very much suited, a bit like the Soviet pre Second World War doctrine. There was a there was a real fear in in NATO that uh, a, a war in the sixties with tens of thousands of BMPs they were just going to swarm. No stop. There'd just it. be so just many, yeah, too so many. fast. It's tracked. It's fast, and they're building tens of thousands of them. Oh wow! And that we just weren't going to have not the firepower, but the number of gun barrels yep. to deal with it. The Mutchison HQ itself is just an infantry for formation. Yeah, it's just, okay. Yeah, it's just a uh, one stand with MPIKMs, which is the East German. Version version of, of the AK forty seven. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and one BMP one, and it's one point HQ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, which is nice. I like one point HQs because you can hide them. 
Yeah. It's just in terms of force morale, because we play those smaller games, yep. you just hide it somewhere... Um, and that's just a unit that and is, not is, sunk, a, a, you know, a fair amount of points in yeah. having to hide that unit. Yeah. Whereas when you get like your chieftains or your challenges, like my HQ is a lot of points. Yeah. I've got to fight with yeah. it. <laughs> so the BMP one itself, then, um, is a tactical move of ten inches, terrain dash sixteen, cross country twenty eight, and road dash of thirty two. This is a this is a fast vehicle. Um, it's armed with a seventy three millimeter gun. Which has got an anti tank power of 12, firepower of 3 up, and it's got a heat round. So that's a decent cannon. Yeah. It's not, it's not great. But, but it can do decent. something. I think 73mm, Sherman's a 75mm. And that's, and that's a tank. But look at the size of it though. This it's, is not a, a small beast vehicle. Compared yeah. to, what's this one? The T55. T55, it is like. Similar sort of size. It's longer. Yeah. But it's two different design philosophies. We'll get to the T55 in a minute. But the, but the T55 is designed to be small, as small as possible. The BMP is carrying large numbers of guys. Ooh. So guys take up space. They you do. look at like Bradley the Warrior, they don't hold 10 guys. No. They don't it's hold anything like 10 team, guys. Right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, it also comes equipped with a Saga missile, the BMP-1, which has got an anti-tank power of 19... <laughs> That can do something. <laughs> that can do something to most things in a game. And I think for Team Yankee players, this is one of the one of the problems. Is some of these cheap Soviet era swarm Just armies. Absolutely, yeah. They have a lot of potential. So NATO's worst fears become reality on the tabletop, don't they? They do, because you get three Just chieftains for, the, for less than for more than I get ten of these. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Abs absolutely can't stop you absolutely um, so that's those I'm, I'm not going to go through the skill ratings and stuff because you know that's I'm that's, sure that's, that's widely covered out there. so that's that the Motschutzen company then the infantry will come to when we talk about those so you talked about the um, BMP2 though mm. just on that note the BMP2 which is the one you've got there that's um, upgunned to um, and this is sometimes a problem I have with Team Yankee, is it's got a 30mm autocannon. And a lot of the more modern infantry fighting vehicles have have autocannons opposed to instead of regular cannon. Yeah. And that's obviously an upgrade. The problem is because of the way Team Yankee works, it and you have like an anti-tank rating, it's got, a high, it's got a higher number of shots. It's got three and two rather than one and one. But its firepower goes from 3 down to 5, and its anti-tank power goes from 12 down to 10. So that's at best a side grade, and it's just because of the mechanics. Yeah, of the, of the game, yeah. The way the game works. On the plus side, one of the reasons for doing this, though, was um, you can shoot helicopters with them, which is nice. It's got the anti-helicopter role. It was one of the things that they wanted from auto cannons, um, And it's got a better missile. It's got the AT-5 Spandrel. Which has got the guarded and heat, but in Whoosh. the in the battalion formation, I think you can only have one that's in BMP twos. Only one of the companies. Okay. So that was probably an availability thing. It's like the first company within each battalion is in BMP twos or or something like that. So that's what that one is with the with the auto cannon. Yeah. So that's your the slightly better one. So the T fifty five, mate. Another swarm. Another swarm of vehicles. This is the swarm tank. The T-55. So. Is this an old kit too? Or is this... Yeah, this has been around for a little while as well. So this is 2017. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so this one... Yeah, so this, this one is 2017. I'm not sure whether this came out with the original Team Yankee release. That sounds about right sort of time frame. But there's also a World of Tanks modern. It might have come out for, for one, that, of, one yeah, of those one of games those. or on a Team Yankee. The card that we're getting in here is for the T55 AM2. How many, other, how many T55s is it getting this? Uh, is it five? Five, yeah, it looks like five. five. Okay. So how many... How many points? It, it, Team Yankee's played a 100 point game. I mean, that's got to be a big chunk. Five tanks or... Six boy, points. What? <laughs> Pretty Six. much a point a pop. Six points. For five. For five. Now, there's a reason they're so cheap, right? Because it's got an anti-tank rating of 17. And the vibe is two up because it's a 100 mil gun. 
It's got a front armor of 14, uh, firepower, yeah, two up, Z armor of nine. The bottom of this tank is any modern tank cannot fail to destroy it by looking at it. Yeah. We get a lot of them. A lot. A lot of them. Six points for five dude blokes. Six points for five tanks, mate. Um, and you can take them in a squad of up to 10, which is going to help you overcome the morale problem, the way Team Yankee's morale works. You don't take morale until you're the last man standing, right? Yeah, that's a lot of shots. To you get also have the point. option to put mine clearing equipment on these. I think that these things can clear mines really effectively without paying points. Just drive them over minefields. Yeah, They're really cheap. Plenty more, yeah. It's wow. As you seen that the paint scheme that I've got on those, it's one that is used widely in sort of Team Yankee stuff. I like it. I think a lot of the fanboys of, of the game like it. I'm we're no, we're not, we're not quite sure it's all that authentic. It's one of these schemes that sort of existed. Okay. But but maybe not. But it's so distinctive. Yeah. With that kind of blue grey um, camouflage with the black as well. So there's your T55. Built a whole bunch of those. I've used them in a Team Yankee game. Um, the, there's the problem with tanks like that is I think you have to lean into it very heavily. You can't just take... You take five, five of them and they're just not going to do anything. But you only paid six points for them, right? So who cares? But they're going to be taking up space on the board. Yep. And we ran into problems in our team, Yankee game, is that they, they, weren't, they weren't in a position to be effective because there's just too many vehicles yes. in a small space. Yep. You know, and that is something to think about. If you've got three challenges as the bulk of your combat force, you're going to be able to put each of those vehicles where it can see what it wants to see and shoot yep. what it wants to shoot because yep. it can move. But when you start guys... putting 20, 30, 40 tanks on the table, because um, I've got, I think I've got about 10 of them that I used the, in, the, done. In, yeah. in, in, the, in the last game. And the, yeah, they took up too much space. For the small amount of combat so power. That broad have. front you'll have to make to yeah, get yeah, everyone yeah. to be able to shoot. Yeah. And you definitely want to, when you think about Team Yankee, you have to put a proportion of your force in reserve. You definitely want those on the table at the start. Yeah. Because they're cheap. Putting them in reserve, you've still got a lot of other reserves to find. <laughs> yeah, because they're that cheap. Because yeah. they're, they're that cheap. Oh, wow. even, even 10 of them was only 16 points. Now, there is an option for East Germans... Um, the Rocket Panzer or Raketen Panzer, which is able to take the AT-10, which is a which is the missile. This is the AM-2. Now I think this is quite a late upgrade, and I don't know how widely it was used. But these you can only take in five, six, or seven for eight, ten, and twelve points. So there's significantly increase in the points cost. Because but it's still not many. Yeah, because, because what does this new rocket do for the... Because although it's only got one shot at 48 inches range, it's got anti-tank power of 21 and 3 up firepower. Class. So you're going to be in, able to engage all but the ultra-modern. The ultra-modern stuff is going to be okay with this. Yeah. Uh, but you're talking like Challenger T-80, they're not going to have a problem with that. But just about anything else, you've got a chance. But you can't take many of these. Not only... Do these come in small unit? But I think you can only have one of them, what one of these formations in the force. Um, so that's that other vehicle. So you can see on the sprue you, as well, you've got this different turret here. You can actually build the regular T fifty four fifty five yeah. out of this. Now you don't got a card for it in here. Um, it is in the in the book, and they're even cheaper. How? Because they're, they're, like they're, <laughs> they're just like They're just like. Um, and, I, and I have to say at, th at that point, the problem is it's probably worth it because with 14 front armour and 9 side, you're not armoured against anything except other really crap tanks like this. Which, yeah. But you're better armoured than auto cannons and things. So, you know, it's like, where's the... Yeah. And that's the thing about where things, oh, where games you? mechanisms kind of get in the way a little bit of yeah. the reality. Yeah. It's like, this is a really bad tank. Can you the imagine? The T-54 is largely, is, the basic one is, the T-34 got iterated into the T-44, got iterated into the T-54. Okay. And they're basically the same. Same thing. Well, they're, they're iterations from, they're, they're developments of, but it's going from the same so basic design. What are we talking improve about? This, improve this, improve this, improve this. Okay. And, and, and add air coolant system oh, nice. or something like that. You know. But, it, but it's the same design team largely working to the same specifications. How do we make a better one of these that we've already got? Whereas after this you get 
T62, T64. These are radically different new design. designs. They're, they're a bit more from the ground up. Okay. Designs. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Whereas T fifty four is is not just architecturally radically different from something that saw service in Barbarossa. Just patched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been hot fixed a few <laughs> times. Patch. No, no. I mean, it's got a much bigger gun and so forth. But that's more about. Um... So one of the things that you look at early war tanks have got like thirty seven millimeter guns. Even 20 millimeter guns. Early war being... First World, uh, Second World War. Second World War, right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, First World War field guns are 75 millimeters. Second World War field guns are 105 to 150. Early War tanks, 37 millimeter guns. Late War, 75, going up to 90 mil, 120 mil with you. Some of the Stalin tanks. Just the escalation of things. Well, it's technology. So te te it's a combination of metallurgy, the kind of better alloys to work with that can stand higher tolerances, mm. and better tooling to make them within a reasonable time frame. So they could make guns bigger earlier. Yeah. It was very. It was not very cost effective to do so. Yeah. So what you get in modern tanks is a comparable size vehicle with much more firepower because they're able to make a gun fit in it. Yeah. And make it work in the wow. way the seventeen pounder was a real struggle to get in the Sherman. Yes. In the form of the Firefly. Yeah. yeah. Americans said it couldn't be done. We said, it can, don't Watch worry us. about the guys. Yeah, we'll do it. Hold yeah. my cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so T55, I suspect the vanilla T55 in the game for points is the way to go because it's probably still auto can improve and just dies just as easily. This is also worth noting, these are Soviet era vehicles. Everything in here is hit on a three, not a four. These things do die easier. Okay. But they put out a lot of shots. And there's so many of them. And if you roll enough dice, you roll more sixes. Basically, right? yeah. That's how it works. That's exactly how it works. Okay, so what else do we have? The last vehicle. Little dude. Um, I love this. This is this is new. It's not brand new. This is 2020. That's still and new. And it's fair to say that there's nothing really brand new in this set. Th th there's nothing brand new in not this set. Not like actually. literally... Not literally brand off new. the press, but 2020. That's yeah, still, yeah, absolutely. That's still pretty good. Um, and and this is actually a bit more recent than that because this is a, this was a COVID release. Ah. Um, so this is the Spandrel. Um, now in here, I think I've only got a card for a Spandrel actually, but this makes Gaskin, Spandrel, Gopher, and BRDM. the BRDM. It's quite a flexible school because they're wow. basically all of those vehicles are, are, are just repurposed um, the same hull. That's naughty. I just looked at the back art and I'm like, oh, you get loads of them. Look, loads of tanks. Look, this, this you get two of. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. So you can have, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, when I counted and said there were 19 vehicles, I, I, I yeah, was wasn't aware that, of that. Yeah, you were, you were doing yeah. that. Um, so you can make any of those. So uh, the card that you're getting in here is a Spandrel, which is the anti-tank version. Um, and it's got the 85 Spandrel, which has got 21 anti-tank power, uh, 21 anti-tank rating, 3 up firepower, guided and heat. Obviously, as a vehicle, it's hit on 3 and it's got 1 front armour. Yeah, well, it's not designed for taking shots. It's... How many points do you think it is for a pair of these? 0.25. One. <laughs> One point six, two. Three is two points. But that's probably partly about the morale thing. Yeah. That's a decent missile. Yeah. For two points. Yeah. That, that's, wow. Uh, or, or for one point. Um, now, to be fair, I'm more tempted with these to actually make... Uh, the Gaskins are one of the AA versions. Just because they're, again, a couple of points. You don't get cards for it in here, but if you're serious about this force, you're going to get the Gives book or the you, deck. Yeah, yeah. Is providing uh, that component to the force without without paying for it, points without wasting points. Absolutely, um, but this is a, this is a lovely little kit. As I say, you can get a scout platoon for like a point. You can get an anti tank platoon for a point. You can, for a couple of points, you can get a, a, an anti aircraft platoon. And like a lot of their uh, modern lighter That's vehicles, cool. you've got a, a, a top, a bottom, two sides, yeah, with and the then gubbins connected. go on the top. Yeah, this is a war gamers kit. Proper. I love these. <laughs> Really good. Plop, Oosh. plop, boom. If you want to build them, I don't think they've provided instructions because they haven't given you a card. Uh, nope. But if you go onto their uh, their website and 
Whenever you search their web, their website is massive. You yeah. can search by the product number, but you're still likely to come up with a lot of stuff. I tend to find the product, and then if you look at it in the spotlight, or oh, it comes up with all relevant. No, no. It, it, when when you click on the product, it brings up another me- an, an, a window and, and in there's a menu related articles. But one of them is spotlight, and in there it'll have all the assembly guides and a painting guide if they've got one, and links Sweet. to videos. You know, photographs of sprues, all that kind of stuff. They do that very well in those. In those on the uh, the spotlight is usually where I find what I want. So that's the vehicles in here. Yes. But bear in mind, this is an infantry set. Other than one vehicle, which is oh, the SU twenty five Frogfoot, which is hiding. We'll sorry, you know. there you go. And the reason it, the reason we didn't notice it is because it is a completely different color. Yes. So these are a bit like um, Warlord does with its tannery and so forth. These are these are third party aircraft. I forget the name of the company. Um, we did know. We did know. Um, Harry knows. Harry from Fog of War. If you want to see a review of any of these, yeah, check that out. Um, He'll let you know. So these, it's great that they're in plastic. I mean, they they used to make most of their aircraft in resin and metal. Mm. A lot of us are not very keen on that. Not now. But then again, these kits are going to quite a different build proposition to something like this. Well, yeah, that's there's a five lot pieces more pieces you just plop together. This does yeah. have this is a modeler's kit. It's lots just of little a, bits, and it is a different scale. These are one one hundredth rather than one one forty fourth. Uh, oh, the, is that the other way around? This yeah. is one one forty fourth. This is apparently. yeah. This is one one hundred forty fourth. One one hundredth is fifteen mil. So these are smaller. Um, and that's just to stop them being enormous. I yeah, because they're not. Yeah, <laughs> they're, planes aren't that small. Planes Even are the not fighters, small right? at all. No, especially something like the SU twenty five. Yeah, is, this is quite big. Um, in that now, uh, you also get the flight stands for those, and you also get they've got these resin. It's because the armament that comes with the default kit is not is not the same as the armament that it's giving you in here. Although actually. I don't think it's giving me a card for it now I come to think about it. That's no. why I'm not. Now, it may be... In one of the factions. It used to be that you had to take Soviet to get one of these. Oh, SU-25 Frogfoot. Right. There you go. So it was the case that in the previous issue of what of the Warsaw Pact Forces, yeah. Man of Nations, that you could only take these as, as um, added in aircraft. These borrowed a Soviet support, ones, yeah. yeah. But what you'll see when we look at the other Team Yankee kit is they've now got another kit out, so that there is a an actual East German one. But these you're using you're using Allied aircraft. Uh, a pair of these are going to cost you seven points. You've got seven, fourteen, and twenty-one. Now this is a powerful aircraft. It's got the KH twenty-five air to ground missile, which has got an anti tank power of twenty-seven. What? 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 What's the standard armor of like you know your your sort of your modern tank? I think the super modern like, ones are maybe twenty two. Twenty two. That sounds right. And yeah, a dice. Twenty two. And, and this thing dice. can shoot you in the side, of course. Ouch! Because it can come on from wherever it likes. It can put itself where it is. Now, it is hit on a three, and then he has an aircraft save of four. Most Soviet players will tell you, certainly with things like Heinz, which have got similar numbers, said you take a pair of them, you'll be very disappointed. They will get shot up. Yeah. That sounds with, Even without dedicated air, most auto cannons can shoot You've at them. You've got something, yeah. You've got something. Now, planes, that's a little bit different, but if they've got real AA, but it's only seven points. And that's some power right there. What, what, what I like about them, about, uh, about things like aircraft and helicopters, is if, if your force comes up against something that it just is not capable of dealing with, it's like there is no space on the board for me to flank those... T-80s yes. yeah. or something like that. I have some backup capability in my force. Maybe it's a chance. I mean, you have to roll to bring those planes in. They're not. They're not there all the time. Yeah, and they might get shot down. But they. But by having something in that in that air space. I mean, just having them alone might make your opponent think second. You know, about moving too far forward or what? Well, not that it matters. It's going to scare the hell out of them. Absolutely. So the next thing to talk about is the infantry. Oh my. So I've uh, done, a, done a quick count. We've got half the infantry each. So there's four different sprue types. Yes. Um, two of each of those. And they are 
essentially people have seen these before these are what were they were the soviet sculpts in, yes in the soft plastic okay, yeah yeah so if you have a look at the east german uniform is a little bit different but in 15 mil at this scale i don't think it's different <laughs> enough i'm fine with that um, I, I did do a little bit of look in there. You can still buy the East German stuff in metal, um, but I, I'm really not sure I can tell the difference. So this infantry, it's not. I don't think it's Sio cast. Yeah, this is it, interesting. This is, this is an this is another material. Yeah. Uh, that they've done it out of. So this is quite similar to the British Desert Infantry. Um, and the original Falschimjäger, I think, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a softer plastic. But it's plastic, right? But it is, but it is a plastic. Well, plastic means a lot of different things to yeah, different people. Yeah, it does. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're, they're nice enough sculpts. I mean, they're, they're certainly just looking at these. They look like, they look like East European infantry. They've got AK-47s and that very distinctive that helmet. You know, Soviet helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if anything, in terms of the sculpts, they feel a little bit, a little bit heroically proportioned. I mean, they feel a bit, a bit. Uh, if I put, I mean, yeah, like this dude can lift a tank. <laughs> <laughs> um, but is that a big thing? Mm, yeah, I, I, I don't think are it's, you, it's a big thing that? if you've already got some that are different. That's the real problem with with having this infantry in lots of different styles. So if you put one of these guys next to one of the hard plastic tank commanders, he's going to look quite manly. Mate, this guy, that's why these guys are on foot, because they don't fit in the tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, they are still on bases as well. But um, in, terms of the, in terms of the sculpts, there's a lot of variety here. I mean, for yeah. just For just dudes with rifles. Normal grunts, you get... These ten dudes here, um, plus another bunch of different. Because kind of often with things like this, you'll get them where three or four of the guys on the sprue are the same. I mean, there are some duplicates on the ten man one. On the oh, there, you can see there's. I mean, probably if you cut them all off, there's probably more duplicates. But we're talking like two of each, but they're, opposed to. But they're, they're 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 mostly different, and that's nice because obviously with modern warfare, the more modern you get, the more dispersed and diverse you want mm. your infantry to look yep. the more autonomous they are the more running off their own thing now with these the number of bases you get is going to allow you to build the Schutz and company at its very basic level and so this is if i have a criticism of this box this is where it comes in the basic infantry company in its smallest size is four bmps Three anti-tank teams with uh, RPGs, okay, which go on these two-man bases, yeah, and then four rifle teams which go on the four-man bases. Cool, and that's what we've got here. We've got we've got enough to make two of those with some figures left open. The problem comes in is if you bought this box and then you want to scale up, because when you move up to the next size of company, you go from six to fourteen points. It's a big jump. It's a much bigger force. Although you've got, you then go from four to seven, and you go from three to six of the teams that you've got here. You then add in PKM machine gun teams, right? Which which are not here. Where are they? Yeah. They're not here, but they also can't be bought separately. You have to buy another. You have you if you want PKM machine guns, you're gonna yeah. have to buy another company from Flames of War. Now that may be something that they haven't strictly realised at this point. Yes, and that they intend to put those in a blister because you can get blisters. There are other optional extras as you get bigger. You can add grenade launcher teams and gremlin teams to these and those do exist as blisters okay so it might just be so it may just be an oversight yeah thing. yeah but today this very right moment now, <laughs> if you wanted to make a bigger team you're gonna end you're gonna end up buying a box that's got all this infantry you've already got in it and then a couple just to of get a couple, to get of, a couple of light machine gun teams but those light machine gun teams look really different because i yeah. think they're on the big artillery base it's three light machine guns and three gunners and uh, three loaders. They don't look anything like this. 
So, you know, yeah, you can do counts as and so forth, but it's just a little bit disappointing the way that, and this is about yeah. how product is packaged. Yeah. More yeah. than more than anything else. Oh, um, well. But yeah, I'm I'm very happy with these. So you're gonna get your you're gonna get your company out of this, and I think you're gonna end up with figures left over because 37 guys for, for 12 and six. Yeah, you're definitely gonna have figures left over um, in this. It's, it's it's like a vinyl. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah, well, it's it's part of that experiment that they're doing isn't it people are the, the metal and stuff is getting quite expensive yes and, yeah and time consuming i think is is the big one you know having seen since going to warlord and watched them making resin and metal it's like this is still very this is very labor intensive yeah you Truth. know you can't mass produce this right and um, overall then what do i think of this set Mm. What's what's your thoughts, John? You said eighty squididdlies, right? Mm. So for the armor alone, I mean, surely that's that's a good buy. You get a lot of tanks and stuff. I think so, and and it's the stuff that you want. It's BMPs and T fifty. If you want the horde force, then this is a good start. This whole box, though, eighty pounds, comes at thirty points. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mm. 30 points that's like a third not we, we normally third. play 75 because we're on a 4x4 board 30 points but it's a horde force it's a horde force there's another set the T72 and it's the up armoured T72s with the new um, the contact 5 ERA we're going to have a look at as well right. so that's got more quality in it Still relative to NATO, but it's not. It's not got one point tanks in it. <laughs> wow. I don't think um, thirty points. Like I, th I think if you wanted a horde Warsaw Pack force, I think you'd want this box. Okay. Um, I think in terms of taking it forwards, I think having two infantry platoons is no is no big deal, especially as they're only what four points each. Mm. That's just something that you can have in your force. Yep. And then you build, put your more expensive elements around it so yeah. there's, there's nothing hurt or lost here um and i think it does need some backbone it does need some quality adding to it to make it viable we shall see but not as a box i think as a, i think as a box it's it's very good at what it is yes it's i, I want the eastern european horde right this is the box this for you the then one. mate you get the cheap tanks and the cheap infantry. All right, that's our thoughts on it. Hope that was useful for you. <laughs> bye -bye. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. Main spleen on, secondary on, burp complete. <laughs> burp complete. Very nice. Pardon okay. me.